This video will look at how you download YouTube videos to watch directly on your iPad instead of the opposite way, downloading them onto a desktop and then syncing it with your iPad. To do that, there are many ways, but this is the way that I've found that works quickly, is to download an app called iCab Mobile, which is another browser, a very good browser. And the place we want to start with is the home page for the course that we're doing. So technologyfuel.com, which has all the videos. So if I put that into the browser and click go, it'll find that page and bring it up. iPad week one, which is where all the videos are. And I can watch them straight on here but I can also download them and watch them one at a time which is what I'm going to do here. Uh, if I want to find this page again instead of typing in the, the address line the same page I can add it to what is called a quick startup. So by going on the page and tapping this button and adding it to quick starter and quick starter is this little section here that that page is always going to be there so it's just another type of bookmark but we're digressing so let's go back to that first page which is the week one of the course and we want to download a video so the first video which is called touching the iPad if I just uh, hold my finger down on that video I can download the file and you can see the file progressing here so this one is quite a long video, it's going to take 33 or 16 minutes to download we're not going to wait for all that time, it's another one that I did previously. When you download it, you can uh, touch it and change its name, rename the file, you can upload to, to various places, you can save the video into your, it goes into the photos album so you can watch it later. Um, I've renamed that video to touching the iPad. I think this is the same one I've downloaded. Without doing that, it just has a, a very general name, generic name. Once you've downloaded it, so that we look at the one that I just did, uh, you can save the video in an album. Save the video in an album, and that video will now be available. And you can see the success there in your Photos album. So if we now go to Photos, let's go back. Uh, there's now two copies of it now, it's this one here, and it's really hard, it doesn't actually show you what the, the video name is, but it's here, and you can play that video directly from your photos. Now, I'm using a mirror at the moment, so it's not going to come up there on mine. Um, it is a very quick and useful way of doing all the videos, so while that one's downloading, I can go to the next one, hold it, download the file. Now I know it's downloading, I can go to that button and there's the third one downloading. And as they download and finish downloading, you can tap on them, change their name, save them to the album. If you later want them to be available on your desktop, and the next time you sync your iPad, the, the videos will be in the Photos app. You can move them onto your desktop through the syncing process. Uh, that's all there is to it. It's sort of a little bit easier than trying to get onto YouTube directly. You can uh, use it through a browser. I highly recommend this browser and we'll be doing a, a another video on this browser and comparing it to Safari a little bit later. Um, that's all.